Hey, what's up, online world? Asa lahat na mga kapamilya all over the world. This is it. Welcome back. Math Delete Live School at Home Edition. Okay, ang lesson for today natin ay divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. But before we go to these rules, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin kapag sinasabing divisible ang isang number to a factor? When we divide two numbers and get no remainder, ibig sabihin ay divisible ang mga number na ito sa isa't isa. Again, let me repeat that one. When we divide two numbers and get no remainder, ibig sabihin divisible ang mga number na ito sa isa't isa. Walang remainder o sobra, pantay, sakto ang pagkakahati. Gumagamit tayo ng divisibility rules to easily know kung divisible ang isang number to a factor. Instead of undergoing the long division process para malaman kung divisible nga sila, all we have to do is just look at the numbers at malalaman na natin kung divisible ang mga numbers na ito. Ang galing, no? Titignan nyo lang, tapos masabi nyo, pwede o hindi. Nagagamit din ito para mas mapatali ang uh, pag-divide po natin at para mas mapabilis na makukuha natin ang common factors ng given numbers. At para mas maitindihan ito, let's try this out. Isa-isahin natin ang rules ng digits. Magkakasama natin pag-uusapan ang divisibility rules ng 2, 5, at 10. Dahil ito ay pare-parehong tumitingin lang sa ones digit ng number. Doon sa dulo. Tandaan nyo, sa bahay, sa divisibility or division house natin, titignan nyo lang dulo, manalaman nyo na kung divisible ito. No remainders, okay? Let's start with number 2. Ang isang number ay divisible by 2 kapag ang ones digit nito ay even number o nagtatapos sa 0, 2, 4, 6, at 8. Repeat after me. 0, 2, 4, 6, at 8. Good job. Halimbawa, ang 234, divisible by 2 by 2? Kung susundan na natin yung divisibility rule for 2, kailangan tingnan natin yung once digit nito. Dahil ang 4 ay even number, this makes 234 divisible by 2. Oh, ay naman niwala. Oh, check natin. Sige. When we divide 234 by 2, kailangan zero or no remainder. Ah? 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Bring down 3. 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Bring down 4. Now 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 14 is equal to 0. Walang remainder. Final answer po natin ay 117, 117. Dahil nga 0 ang remainder, ang 234 is divisible by 2. Galing, no? Pareho yung nakuha nating sagot gamit ang divisibility rule for 2. Uh, based on this rule, magbibigay tayo ng numbers na divisible by 2. Ang 28, 62, 34, I can see 292, 156, at marami pang iba. Basta, ang ones digit nito ay even. Uh, next rule tayo. Tapos na tayo sa 2. Basta tandaan nyo, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Ang susunod na rule, ayon sa divisibility rule for 5, ang isang number ay divisible by 5 kung ito ay nagtatapos sa 0 or 5. Dalawa lang. Say it. Let's try. 1, 4, 5. Ito ba ay divisible by 5? Ayon sa rule natin, dahil it ends with 5, ito ay masasabing divisible by 5. Pag sinabing divisible, no remainder, 0. Okay? 0 ang remainder niya. Um, subukan nga natin divide. 1, 4, 5 divided by 5. Let's have the division house. 14 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 14 
minus 10 is equal to 4. Bring down 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. Sakto. 45 minus 45 is equal to 0. Walang remainder. Kaya ang 1 for 5 is divisible by 5. Galing. Math dali lang, di ba? All right. Dalawang divisibility rules down. Meron pa tayong isa. Tignan naman natin yung divisibility rule for 10. Ito, pinakamadali sa lahat. I promise you. Malaki man yung number, ito yung pinakamadaling tandaan. Ayon sa divisibility rule for 10, a number is divisible by that number if it ends with 0. Halimbawa, 510. Kung susundan natin ang rule natin, alam natin na divisible ito by 10. Dahil 0 ang ones digit nito. Oh, let's check easily. Let's divide 510 by 10. 51 divided by 10 is 5. 5 times 10 is 50. 51 minus 50 is 1. Bring down 0. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. Walang remainder. Ang sagot po natin ay 51. Divisible nga ang 10. Sa, ah, divisible ang 510 sa 10. Okay? Pero speaking of um, factors, no? Guys, yung mga divisibility rules natin, isang tingin pa lang, malalaman natin kung ang number ay divisible by our factor. But din nga, tulad ng nasabi, nasabi ko kanina, speaking of factors, nagagamit din yung divisibility rules to easily find the common factors of numbers. Baka tulong na alam natin kuhanin ang common factors ng numbers para mas mapadali yung pag-divide natin at pag-simplify ng fractions na magagamit natin in the long run. Okay? Let's try. Ano ang Common factors. I'm not asking for the GCF, no? Not the greatest common factor. Common factors lang ng 25 at 50. Now, ang factors ng 25 ay 1, 5, 25. Ang factors naman ng 50 ay 1, 2, 5, 10. There's 25 at 50. At ng common factors nila, 1, 5, at 25. Using the divisibility rule for 5, alam natin sa unang tingin pa lang na factor ng parehong numbers ang 5. Another example, let's try bigger numbers. no? Pahirapan natin yung sarili natin ng konti. Ano ang common factors ng 120 at 78? Now using the rules that we have discussed, Alam natin, ang 120 and 78 ay parehong divisible by 2. Diba? 0 tsaka 8. Alam din natin na ang 120 ay divisible by 5. Kasi 0. At pag sinabi natin 0 sa dulo, 10. Ngayon, tignan natin kung ano pa yung remainder, uh, remainder factors ng dalawa. Ang factors ng 120, no? mapilisan tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 20, 24, 30, 40, 60, and 120. Ang factors naman ng 78 ay 1, 2, 3, 6, 13, 26, 39, at 78. Mm -hmm. Grade 5 topic. To check kung ito ay parang uh, a factor nga talaga. And... Uh, makukuha mo yung, yung product, i-multiply nyo yun yung magkabilang dulo. 1 times 78, 78. 2 times 39, 78. 3 times 26, 78. 6 times 13 is 78. Common factors ng dalawa ay 1, 2, 3, at 6. Diba? Napakadali. Mahdali talaga. Now, let's have this great review. Divisible lang isang number by 2 kung once digit niya ay even number. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Ito naman ay divisible by 5 kung once digit niya ay 0 or 5. Lastly, ang 10 naman, divisible lang kahit anong number basta ang dulo niya ay 0. Oh. 
dahil na-miss niyo ako at na-miss ko kayo, ibabalik po natin para matry natin kung natutunan niyo ng maigi ang ating lesson for the day. Let's have Math the Lee quiz time. Here we go. Number one, madali lang to, true or false. All numbers ending in zero are divisible by two. Tama ba to or mali? 20 seconds to answer. Go. Type true or false. Okay, time is up. Ang tamang sagot ay true, di ba? Ang zero, even number, kaya divisible lang kahit anong digit na yan, basta zero yung dulo. Okay, good job. Okay, let's have this one. What is the biggest two-digit number divisible by two? Dito, sa listahan natin. Is it A, 22, B, 43, C, 75 or D, 98. 20 seconds, go. We'll be done in three, two, one. Correct answer is letter D, 98. Sa listahan po natin, no? Ayon sa ating divisibility rule for two, a number is divisible by two if it ends with an even number. At base sa nakita natin, 22, yes, pwede. 43, hindi. 75, hindi. 98, yes, and it's the bigger number. Okay? Let's go to question number three. True or false? 456 is divisible by 10. 10 seconds to answer. Go. True or false? Divisible by 2 by 10. 4, 5, 6. Time is up. 4, 5, It is not divisible by 10. False. Okay? Super false. Dahil nga, ang uh, rule natin for 10, kailangan nag-end to sa zero. Only. Zero. Okay? Let's go to question number four. What number is divisible Or what number is 8 to 5 divisible to? Is it A, 2, B, 5, C, 10, or D, 13? 10 seconds to answer. Go. People are wondering, Kuya Romy, 10 seconds, ang bilis naman. That is what this lesson is all about, guys. I will challenge you. Kasi dapat, unang tingin pa lang, alam mo na kung divisible yung number o hindi. Basing it on the ones digit. Doon sa dulo lang. Okay, time is up. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, 5. Diba? Again, if you look at 8 to 5, 5 yung nasa dulo, hindi pwedeng 2. Hindi naman siya even. Hindi pwedeng 10 kasi it doesn't end with 0. And if you are gonna be uh, dividing A to 5 13, you will get a remainder. Okay? Maraming nakuha na tamang sagot. Next question. Question number five. Yes or no? Ganun lang. 274 is divisible by 2. 10 seconds, go. 274. Tamang sagot ay yes na yes. 274, even number. Okay, divisible by 2 yan. Diretso tayo agad sa question number 6. Which of the following is divisible by 2, 5, and 10? Tatlo na ang hinahanap natin. Oh. Okay, isang answer lang pero tatlo yung um, divisors natin dito. Is it A, 46, B, 77, C, 1 to 5, or D, 5, 20 seconds para makaisip kayo. Go! Hmm, 2, 5, 10. If you're gonna think about it carefully. 2, even number. 5, 0. 5, 10, 0. So kailangan, yung dulo niya, ano kaya? 3, 2, 1. The correct answer ay letter 
D. Sa lahat ng choices natin, 560 lang ang divisible by 2, 5, and 10 dahil ito lang ang nag agree o nagsasatisfy sa mga nasabi po nating divisibility rules. Ang number lang na may 0 sa 1's digit ang pwedeng maging divisible by 2, 5, at 10. Which of the following is the common set of factors for 32 and 60? Is it A, 1, 2, 4, B, 1, 2, 8, C, 2, 5, 10, or D, 2, 4, 12? 30 seconds to answer. Go. Challenging to, no? Common set of factors for 32 and 60. Hmm. I'll give you a hint. Halos lahat. Common factors. May one. Halos lahat, no? 10 seconds left, guys. 3. Two and one. Time is up. The correct answer is letter A. All right, na pula ako kayo. Letter A. Ang thirty-two and sixty parehong divisible by two. Ang factors ng thirty-two ay one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Factors naman ng sixty ay one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty, thirty, and sixty. Common factors po nila ay one, two. And four. Ah, uh, good job. Sino ba na ako ng perfect score? Nakakatabaan ng puso na andito po kayo para matuto ng ating mga math lessons. Good job sa lahat ng mga sumagot at natuto. Pero huwag kayong mag-alala. Kung nabitin kayo, we'll be back next week para dagdagan pa ang ating mga kaalaman. Thank you so much for joining our live stream right now. And we will be back next week as we continue giving out information, lalong-lalo na tungkol sa math. Nandaan nyo, isip plus syaga equals math the league. Ako po si Kuya Robbie, and I'll see you guys very soon. Isip plus syaga equals math the league.